Hello everyone, my name is Jacob and today I should be talking to you uh, just uh, briefly about uh, buying old uh, Chinese uh, compound bows. So, uh, well, people had uh, different experiences and uh, I didn't want to judge anything by, uh, well, where it came from. So uh, I decided, well, uh, it contributed to that I didn't have any money that time uh, that I bought an old uh, Chinese compound bow so uh, I bought it used um, some people may say that is a very bad thing to do you should not do that I think um, for me it was a very positive experience um, and uh, I have a pretty cool bow now so let me just show you so this is my compound bow um, I don't know the uh, manufacturer name because it doesn't say I think anywhere on the bow. So uh, it's basically an uh, 80s style, 90s style compound bow. Uh, but it's uh, newer than that so it's made in China. Uh, we have an aluminum riser and we have um, carbon fiber uh, limbs. Uh, so uh, when I got this, um, I got it for 60 bucks, so that's really, really cheap. Um, and uh, I just wanted a compound bow because uh, I played Crisis 3 just that time. And I loved that game, I loved the bow in it, so uh, that was the primary reason that I wanted to buy a compound bow. I didn't have any experience with bows before, uh, so I got my friend to help me a bit with that and uh, finally I got this thing uh, so uh, I've done some modifications to it as you can see um, we have uh, when I got it uh, I didn't have a lot of stuff on it so uh, it had the stock well it had stuff on it but the owner took it off when uh, he sold it to me he put it on his uh, new bow uh, so uh, it, it had the old style kind of um, Side with two things like that. Uh, I don't know if you, uh, I I use the this thing from it for the arrow uh, quiver. I'll go over that a bit later. But um, well, I replaced that as you can see with a uh, Chinese uh, three uh, three dot sight, whatever you want to call it. Just it was like twenty bucks, I think less than that from uh, Aliexpress uh, so I got that uh, I figured if I have a cheap, cheap bow like that I don't need very expensive uh, stuff to put on it it was just like a test project I guess um, and uh, ultimately I just wanted to get a nice bow to shoot uh, at the week and the weekends and uh, maybe to go hunt with and stuff like that and uh, I think that is what I got so uh, as I said, uh, I got the sight for it. I also got the uh, air rest for it, as you can see here. Um, the whisker biscuit. So uh, uh, when I got it, it had this weird plastic thing on the side, and it would just destroy the arrows. So I quickly got and uh, got this thing, uh, the whisker biscuit. Uh, the brushes are pretty worn by now but uh, I gotta replace those uh, I shoot this thing quite a lot actually uh, just because I love it so much uh, other than that on the actual bow I didn't change anything else well uh, I changed some cosmetic things as you can see so uh, I wrapped the I wrapped the riser with the uh, camo uh, Chinese uh, duct tape just wrapped it took me about I don't know a day I guess of wrapping it's not the prettiest looking thing but I like I like it I like the camo uh, on it also I wrapped the handle with uh, the uh, it's like a tennis court uh, kinda wrap I guess you just buy it at uh, sports uh, sports shops whatever so I just got that and put it on. I thought it would it may may be nice for to hold, I guess. 
and it's pretty nice it's like it gives you a nice padding so you can really hold on to it for long periods of time uh, I had also had to fill in the uh, the handle there with epoxy because it was hollow on this side I don't know why it's, I guess it's for, to save weight uh, or to save aluminum I guess whatever so I had to fill in that just to make it a bit uh, sturdier and a bit easier to hold but other than that um, I made also this uh, quiver as I said before uh, it isn't the prettiest thing but it does the job I just use it to uh, transport the arrows uh, to uh, to my backyard where I can shoot and uh, it's pretty good it, ho it holds the arrows in and uh, well that's basically what you needed to do so that's pretty much that um, yeah other than that uh, I got a release uh, the D-loop was already there the previous owner had it on there um, and uh, that's pretty much it so uh, it's a really nice bow uh, I love it to bits uh, I love to shoot it as I said before um, I can show you how the arrows go in here as well maybe a bit later and uh, yeah let's show you that right now actually so this is basically how the arrows go in it's fairly simple there's just like two rubber uh, things here I just made those got some rubber and then just drilled some holes and then just poked some uh, passages here uh, made two of those and then screwed them onto this frame uh, that I got from the uh, site that was on here before and uh, you just snap them in and then just snap them out it's pretty simple and uh, does the job so uh, I'm fairly happy with that the bow, uh, I didn't say, it's uh, 55 pounds and uh, it's pretty nice draw weight for shooting. Uh, it's just like, it's very smooth. Of course I don't shoot it like that, I shoot it with a release, but just for the sake of the video. Um, as I said, the, it's, very, it's very smooth, the actual um, rollers are are quite nice they're old-fashioned uh, they were sort of like uh, stuck a bit well they weren't very they weren't exactly stuck they were just like there was a lot of uh, friction on them and I just saw that with the good old ballast all I sprayed some in here and uh, seemed, seemed to do the trick so it's very nice now but other than that, I think that's pretty much it for this video. So uh, just want you to know that uh, not all of the uh, Chinese compound bows are are bad, um, and uh, give you something to think about. If you don't have a lot of money and you really want a compound bow, well, just go ahead and buy one, I guess. Um, you should ask uh, someone that knows a little bit more about bows than you possibly if you don't know a lot uh, to help you with it but um, I think it's quite a bargain so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I hope I helped you with some stuff and uh, I will see you next time